Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Cloud Gaming here, bringing you another Red Dead Online video. And in today's video, I'm bringing you another top 5 list. I just thought of one, um, because I haven't been able to f think of, find lists, think of lists, um, that are actually good. And today's is going to be the top 5 camp locations, um, which, I mean, camp locations, I'm going to be 100% honest, aren't completely reliable like you might put one down here but there might already be a camp here so you're gonna have to go all the way up here um but for me these are my top five camp locations and um <laughs> uh sorry and um here, I'm gonna pull out the list. So, the number five best uh, camp location is in Cumberland Forest, where mine actually is right now. Um, this is number five because it's kind of near New Hanover, um, but it's not actually in New Hanover. It's not near any huge towns but it is near a camping ground and stuff like that so that's why i put it there it's near some um certain animals i think some deer some rabbits and some some stuff like that um number four would be the heartlands this is number four because it's closer to some cities it's close to um it's, it's close to valentine it's close er to roads and there's some decent wildlife there Number four is um, the Big Valley and Great Plains. This is a double entry, just because I think both of them are pretty even. Um, Big Val, the Big Valley has more smaller animals. It has deer and buck and stuff like that, whereas Great Plains has um, buffaloes and a couple deer. Um, number two, I would say, would be. The where is it? I gotta find it first. The uh, Gap Tooth Ridge, because while this isn't um, amazing for um, amazing for animals and stuff, which you can get animals, um, I find that it is a pretty good place because there are whenever I do bounties down in the south. Uh, the bottom left hand of the corner um, I actually have a lot of bounties go right next to my camp so if I go to my camp and then go down I'll probably be going straight back up to my camp so whenever I turn in the bounties I can just go up to my camp and since a lot of them are up there you, you're basically just going back and forth and there are a decent amount of animals on the way from your camp down to either armadillo or um, tumbleweed and then you'll find a good amount of animals going back. So you'll be finding respawning animals. So say whenever you go down, you get the bounty, you go back up, and then you go back down. Before you get the bounty, you can fast travel up to your camp and turn in all those animal hides and maybe one big animal. And then you can go back down. So I think that's why that one's a really good area. And then number one is the Bayou Noir. So... Uh, I put Bayou Noir's number one for a couple reasons. Um, one is the alligators. Those are big pelts, which are actually pretty easy to get. All you have to do is kill the alligators. Two are the birds and the chickens and the livestock, which are easy to kill, as you just saw. And then that's another free um, source of pelts. And then you have the pigs, which is another source. And then you have deer, which is another source. Also, with me, I have it next to my Moonshine Shack. I'll be doing the top five Moonshine Shack locations um, pretty soon, too. But my Moonshine Shack is also here, so that's another benefit. And then I'm right next to San Denis, and I'm pretty close to Rhodes. Um, so that's why that's number one. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please do uh, like it. If you really liked it, please do consider subscribing, but if you are kind of on the fence, please do consider checking out a different video and then maybe subscribing. Um, if you didn't like it, please do tell me down below in the description. Um, 
what are your top five camp locations? I'm also gonna be doing a top five moonshine locations, um, probably tomorrow. I'll see you guys in the next video, and goodbye.